Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. We are going to be starting a brand new let's play of the video game Venba. I am pretty excited to play this. I've seen that it is pretty well received online. It has really good reviews and ratings um, across various websites and it's also a, a fairly short game that can be beaten apparently in around an, an hour or so. So I'm really looking forward to getting to experience this game and sharing it with you all. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get on into it and start our Let's Play of Venba. So from what I've um, read about this game, and I, I've tried my best to avoid spoilers, this is a game about preserving um, culture um, and it's from the perspective of the mother, but beyond that, I don't really know too much about it. And I'm looking forward to seeing what this game is all about. Think well before oh, I miss the reading. Leaving already? Hey, oh, sorry. Did I wake you? What time is it? Eight. How are you feeling? Tired or nauseous? Um, let's go with nauseous. Just like yesterday. Uh, okay. I'll call your school and say you can't come in today. I was just about to leave for work. You should go back to sleep. What about your lunch? There's some leftover idli batter and garlic chutney from yesterday. You can steam some idlis quickly. I don't know if I can figure all that out. It's okay. I was just about to leave. It's just idlis. Very easy. It'll take me too long, Venba. Don't worry. I can just survive on the coffee machine. Hmm. I, I'm torn between saying okay and fine I'll make it then. I think I'm gonna go with okay. No, it's okay. Benba, really it's fine. No, no, no. I need to make lunch for myself anyway. Just tell the school I'll be done in a minute. Okay. Okay, let's get this done fast. Although... Should I try my mother's recipe for once? The way I make at least are never as soft as hers. And they would always cheer me up when I'm feeling sick. I should just make them her way today. Hmm. If the recipe is still readable, that is. Oh boy. Okay, let's check what the recipe calls for. So we need the plate, towel, cooker, water, batter, holes to let steam through. They, these also have holes so batter can cook. Make sure to, or it'll leak. Arrange plates so steam can cook properly. I'm wondering what this is supposed to say. So make sure to, or it'll leak. Okay. Hmm. I have not made Italy with these kinds of plates before. 
The only difference from mine seems to be the holes in the plates. The recipe also calls for towels, I'm not sure why. Oh, okay, wait. The towels are probably, you probably need to put the towels somewhere so it doesn't leak, right? That's probably what the book was saying. But um, Amas swears this method makes the least a lot softer. Right, make sure to, or it'll leak. Okay, so... No point putting a plate without the batter. Oh yeah, okay, duh, right? Uh, so batter in first. Right? Wait, how do you put the batter in? Or do you put water first? Yep, water, then batter? No, that wouldn't make sense, right? So these holes have to let steam through. So how do you put the batter in now? That's what I'm struggling with. Oh, you put the batter on the plates. Okay. Duh. Duh, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. So then this goes here. And then the towel goes on top. What? Oh, okay. I guess not. <laughs> okay. Some more batter in. But we do need to churn it, though. Wait, that's not right. The these this batter needs to line up with the steam holes between the bottom plate so that it cooks right. Oh no, but I can't take it off, huh? Shoot, I messed this up already. Yeah, there's no way to take it out, huh? Yeah, what I need, what I should have done is align it so this is like these holes are with this bigger hole right here and then put it down right yeah all right let's see how it turns out not pretty confident with my cooking skills here that should be long enough let's remove the lid and see how it turned out it seems the batter leaked through the holes and spilled everywhere. Let's try again. Okay. So it's water first. Then it's... Wait, let me check this book again. There are holes, make sure to... or it'll leak. I have three towels, too. So you put the... Maybe the... Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense. So you put the towel first, then the batter. Put the plate on. We need to twist it so the holes can steam correctly. And that is the sequence for this. There we go. One more churn. And that should be it. Good job, chef. It's good, right? Please tell me it's good. That should be long enough. Let's remove the lid and see how it turned out. Perfect! Aw, oh, that's so cute. Oh wow, you even took the time to make our faces. I think you forgot about my beard, though. You really didn't have to do this. What else could I do? My husband can't figure out, at least. Benba, I told you to go to sleep. You've been feeling sick and exhausted. You didn't have to cook. It's not a big deal if I skip lunch once. Pavalan? Sorry if I butchered that name. You're making me choose between resting and letting you starve. That's not a fair choice to me. You're not letting me starve. I know, but that's what it feels like. And even if I had let you leave... <laughs> I couldn't sleep peacefully. Seems like a more appropriate answer, but what will I do for lunch? Seems a little more humorous and 
would probably lighten the mood, so I'm gonna say that. I'd still have to cook, as exhausted and sick as I am. You just wouldn't have seen it. I don't have a coffee machine here to survive on either. Is it so hard for you to cook, even on days like this? You're right. Sorry. Did you look for tickets back home? Yes. It's expensive, but we can manage it. So, do you think we should go? I don't know. Let me ask the boss again if he can make me full time. But unless the school gives you more shifts, or my boss changes his mind, it's going to be tough to stay in Canada. You know there are other options, but I wouldn't mind going back. I'm sure I can teach again at my old job. But there's nothing really keeping us here. That'd be nice. Okay, well why don't you leave with me now? I'll walk you to the doctor's office before I go to work. Oh no, I'm sure all I need is some sleep. You've been saying that for two days now. Come on, I'll walk you. Doctors are free here. Venba, are you home? What did the doctor say? So the boss didn't even consider it. Unless a miracle happens, I say we start packing. What? What's with you? You never told me what the doctor said. Well, I think you should eat first. Oh, okay. Italy's again? Ah. What has gotten into you today? Aww. That's so cute. So I guess this means we have a reason to stay. I mean, raising a child back home wouldn't be so bad either. But there's a chance at a very different life here. It's only going to get more expensive though, and we're barely scraping by as it is. You can't provide everything other parents would be able to. What if they resent us for that when they grow up? Maybe moving back to India is the best option after all. But then they could resent us for taking away this opportunity. Hmm. What do you think, Venba? Why aren't you saying anything? I don't know. It's funny to see you worry like this. Are you not worried? I don't know. I feel very calm for some reason. That makes one of us. Pavavan, don't worry. I'm sure they will turn out just fine. How can you be so sure? It's our child. How else could they turn out? 